up a special shout out to all my awesome YouTube members and patrons, Riptide, Anik D, Matthew Hall, Charlene Kelly, Yushika Bay, Madlo, Lucky Charms, Sam Medina, and Blah Beer Cookie for your amazing support. Hey guys, and welcome back to 7 Days Dry, Where's UK mod? So we are going to be facing the Day 7 Horde. It's going to be Warrior Difficulty, 60 Minute Days, and Nightmare Speed. And yeah, I think that's all that I actually have to show you. And 64 Blood Moon Spawn. But yeah guys, uh, as you guys know, we last episode went and made a base from scratch in the new city. And if this thing fails, we're screwed. Uh, because we don't have a backup. We don't have anything close to us that can actually provide a backup. I think my bedroll might... Uh, no, my bedroll is still in other towns. So if I was to die right now, I'd spawn all the way back there. Which would be bad, because then I'll have to drive back on the bike. And I don't have enough stamina to make it all the way back to the Horde base. So we'll just have to chill on a roof somewhere in our old town. Uh, for those of you new to the ch uh, channel, I in a very small start of village we actually managed to clear out the whole town and yeah now we are moving to the big city and we're actually facing the first ward in the big city so i'm gonna do this for any zombie that jumps out over over here it's gonna get knocked off i'm hoping that i have the rotation of these right because it feels like something's wrong and then as soon as the horde night is over i want to actually go and see if i can't expand this horde base like uh, double to that side and that side or just half. Yeah, uh, this is the middle right here. If I can make this the middle. Or no, this the middle over here. And just expand a little bit to that side. Into the back over there. We can actually have our base on top of here. But it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a lot of um, renovations and stuff to be able to do that. So I don't know if I should uh, rather just go. And make my actual base right there. And then another horde base right on top. Yeah, a massive, massive horde base with my base on top. We could just adjust this one. But like I said, it's going to take a lot of work to be able to adjust this. Yeah, all the doors are up. Guys, I'm really scared of the vultures. They can radiate you and set you on fire and stuff. Uh, we are still infected with the vulture disease over here. You can see the bird flu. So hopefully um, we lost the horde and then I can just drink the... Or take the shot. Because we, we got lucky with that drop. We needed a bird flu cure and then all of a sudden we get this thing. The fact that this says still an hour left worries me. It's been stuck on an hour. So I'm hoping it's not bugged on or something like that. Uh, this thing has two shots. Where the zombies are coming from. That direction. No. Okay, why are you guys just standing there? Yeah, you guys are supposed to come to me over here. Please use the stairs, right? Okay, yeah, some of them uh, sound like they're going for the bottom over here. Which would be bad because they need to come on this side. See, that's bad. They're not supposed to go there. So if I start a new horde base... I need to make sure that it's proper. I think that's the, that's the best reason to start a new ward base uh, on that side. Do it right from the start. This one we just set up because we needed something before Horde Knight. Yeah, this gun is super, super loud. I'm actually thinking of using the Molotovs for now. This should be enough. Are you on fire as well? I don't know how, how much the range on this is. You guys are not supposed to be there, and you guys are supposed to climb ladder. Okay, so the first Horde Knight is going to be slow, if, not, uh, if I remember correctly from the stream. Uh, basically, the tough ones only start showing up at after midnight. And I need to save as much ammo as possible. Oh, please don't, please don't uh, crash again. But yeah, um, we need to save as much ammo as possible for the vultures and for the bosses showing up. I do have explosives and stuff, and I think I should save those at least. The fact that you guys are going for the poles over here really bothers me. Hello, clown. Now, the fire doesn't seem to reach as far as it does in Darkest Fall, so I need to take that into account. Am I on fire as well? But also, guys, I made myself a shotgun repair kit. It seems we already had a shotgun uh, part in the base, so I was able to make two repair kits. And I don't know how the hell I didn't even realize that from the start. Why are you guys not pathing correctly? This, this design is perfect, but for some reason you guys are going for the pillars over here. I mean, it's not too bad, but still, they can actually kill us if you're not careful. You guys are on fire. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, I should probably just see if we can invest a few skill points over here. Um, let's see. I need to invest in proper skills right now that's going to help us. Lucky loot and stuff. We need to start getting better loot as well. But for now, stamina. Let's go for stamina. Where is this one? If we can max this one out, it's going to help us tremendously with our stamina. 
Maybe we'll do this. We'll go for stamina and we'll go for pack mule. Especially the pack mule, guys. We need more space of here. I can't believe there's so many of the basics that I haven't actually been doing. And I'm so mad at myself for not doing some of these basics. Are you guys still going for the pillars of here? That is so not cool. Come on, do your job. I don't mind shooting them, but as soon as the vultures start coming, I'm going to get more infections. If this base was just a full pillar, not on the stilts like this, I think it might work better. But because it's on pillars like this, for some reason, that's just not working right. I'm hoping to get a ton of... Oh, also, yeah, uh, we have XP Elixir. In the morning, as soon as we can, we need to drink this stuff. Okay, so someone just almost made it over. Right after midnight, I'm going to drink the XP Elixir because then we should get a ton more bosses and stuff. And if the war dies down before then, we restart the war. We need the war to keep on going until 4am. Nice, it goes through. I was actually worried about it not going through over there. Every time I look, I see fire all around. Oh, they are going for the pillars. As long as this thing doesn't cave in, then we're fine. But something just broke. I have a feeling right before morning, this thing's gonna cave in. We do have a bicycle on us, so we can just put it down and drive away. But I don't know if the bicycle's gonna be faster than us running at the moment. Man, these zombies are tough. They barely take any damage. We need a proper AK or something as soon as possible. Oh wow, they actually went through the door this time. Nice. Usually it hits the door when I set myself alight. The nice thing about this little blunderbuss is the fact that I can fire two shots. HD blunderbuss. It's just super, super loud. That's why I don't really like using it. Technically, you could spend the first night at the trader up until about 12, and then the rest you can uh, spend at your horde night or your horde base. Why are you guys not pathing correctly, I wonder? All of them seem to be just wandering around over there, not sure where I am. There you go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, we need to uh, level up as soon as possible, so we need to keep an eye on this. That's where we see our levels. Oh, this broke. At least I brought some pipes, so I'll be able to repair. Ooh, I hear a spider zombie. It's almost midnight, so the tougher zombies are going to start coming up as well. I wonder how much XP I would have gotten if I already get, uh, drank the XP elixir. I'm just afraid of vultures, that's why I'm not doing anything outside right now. Trader Joel is now closed. Oh, we need to be careful of spiders jumping up. So let's just reload this. Anything that jumps up over here, we should sh uh, shoot with a shotgun. But it seems the stairs... Oh, it's the staircase that actually started breaking on that side. At least there's still stairs on that side, but I don't know how much they're going to use them. That's a shame. But remember, I didn't take out the wooden catwalk, whatever that's called. That fence on that side, I didn't take out. So if they manage to break the stairs over there, that's going to be my downfall. Let me keep an eye open. I really don't feel like getting a vulture right now on my face. Yeah, this shotgun is my best gun so far because it's nice and powerful as well. I can get some serious damage done if I just do this, but I need to save my Molotovs for the morning as well. It's already midnight, so the bosses and stuff will start showing, and also some vultures. Come on, Feral Reaver. Where are you going, lady? For some reason, she jumped over, and then now she's trying to break the stairs instead of coming to me. But something's off with this design, you just don't know what. Right. Ooh, okay, this thing does damage. You just have to make sure you actually hit the zombie. Okay, so it's not really doing that much damage. They're not really doing that much damage to the pillars, it's just the stairs that's starting to break. I need to kill these zombies as soon as possible so we can get the upper ones spawning, the bosses. 
Guys, as soon as I can tweak this building, we'll be able to fight them better as well. Oh, Titan Biker. No, we have a Titan. As far as I'm aware, we don't have anything to fight the Titans with. And I don't have an exit over here. Oh, crap. This is bad. Is he also on fire? I wonder. Nope. Are we breaking? Yeah. Oh, it's too close. He's gonna, walk, he's gonna walk through. He's breaking that block, so he's gonna get through. I did not think we we're gonna get a Titan already. Oh, no, 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 no. Am I on fire? Why am I on fire? Okay, we have some pipe bombs. We have knocked him off. Nice. Knocked him off so I can actually do this. Crap, I missed. Ooh, okay, that does damage to them. That definitely does damage to them. Crap, too far. What's he freaking out? This uh, noise you're hearing right now, guys, is from the siren. Okay, so this base, I need to move it a little bit further. It's a good thing that this is a test. Now I know how to design the next one. Okay, he actually fell down. Nice. He's gonna walk up that side, I think. But yeah, the next one, we need to make sure this walkway is a little bit further away from the base. Because now we see that the Titans can and will... Can and will be able to use it against you. He broke this block with... Oh, we're just standing over there. Oh my, come on, come on, he's almost dead. Oh, you know what? XP elixir. Oh, I wonder if I got the XP elixir. Uh, if, I, if I got the XP for him. If I can just kill this lady that's so noisy, it's, it's her. She died from fire, nice. Be careful of the vultures. I can't believe we had a titan. In the stream, we didn't have a titan the first world night. Okay, even if there is a vulture now, we don't have to worry too much because you already have the infection. Crap. I need to kill the last two zombies so we can restart the whole night. Wait, why are you running away? That is the psycho, right? The scientist. Okay, do this, do this. Do this. Copy shape. Copy rotation. Did he come back? Okay, cool. As long as there's no vultures, we're safe. He might actually be able to make it over because I'm standing here, so I need to be careful. I need to do this. Oh, nice. Had hazmat suit as well. Okay, I don't know if there's any more... Uh, there are body bags. Let's just really grab the body bags. Or the loot bags, I mean. Okay, it doesn't seem like they broke any pillars down here, so that's good. Let's restart this Horde Knight and see... Probably fill that up again as well. See, we're going to have to make this a little bit further away because the Titans can reach the wall. And it has to be this way around, otherwise the, the defense doesn't work. Ooh, okay, let's restart. I still have a few minutes left of XP Elixir. Hopefully it lasts as well. Continue game, start. The fact that we got a Titan for the Day 7 Horde, that's insane, guys. I can remember when I did my first two series on Ways UK in the beginning of Alpha 20. And back then, um... Basically, we, we only got Titans at the end of the game, like very, very late game. And I, uh, then I was like, oh, wow, how do you deal with these dudes? But now you're starting to get them from day seven. Back then it was like day 70 and up. Now I, I see it's been reworked and I actually love this because now you're, you're not safe. If you get a Titan or two, they can make it over that walkway that I made. So this design, this uh, ward base is not going to work that well against Titans. Although they still have to jump the hatches. So if I can make this defense better, what I need to do is I need to technically make these longer. And then also move them like two or uh, one or two blocks out that way. But still, I want to have this window across that platform, that walkway over there. Then we know this is a perfect design. Oh, the zombies, come on. I'm looking forward to a vulture as well. My XP elixir isn't going to last that long. I need to kill as many zombies as possible while I have my XP elixir going. I drank it too at a weird time. We leveled up, we're already level 17. I want to be a higher level. 
Oh, you're a vulture. Ooh, that looked like it hit your head. Or it hit your friend at least. Okay, it doesn't look like it hit that dude on the other side. We need to make sure that we constantly have these over here, uh, here as well. I wonder if they can actually bump the titans. We're gonna have to deal with them somehow. Abomination. He actually looks freaky as well. Look at his face. See, so far it looks like it's working. The design. Come on dudes, come on dudes, come on dudes, don't go for the pillars and stuff. Come for me. I only have so much XP elixir left and then it's gonna run out. Like one minute worth. This class started with two XP elixirs, I should have actually just saved it for Hawk Knight. I drank the one with the Wandering Horde, and now I regret it. I need to work on faster reloads as well, because this gun is awesome. It might even rival the shotgun if you can fire in the faces of the zombies. Like if your shots actually line up. Come on, General. Okay, someone just did a... destroy a pillar underneath me. Yeah, he just destroyed something down there. I don't know what he destroyed there. Okay, I can't afford to waste... Oh, I only have one Molotov left. I need to save it for the morning. In case there's a few more zombies that need burning. Okay, I'm gonna have to use my shotgun now as well. Damn, the XP elixir worn, uh, wore out. At least every level gives you two points. Okay, at the moment, I feel like my current design, the hatches are too close to each other. So when the zo uh, zombie jumps over, it almost jumps to the second hatch. Bye bye. Bye bye. Boom. Okay, and I also need to be able to throw these pipe bombs better. That means the the windows have to be across that walkway over there. They're definitely breaking stuff underneath me, which means this base is gonna cave in. Every now and then, I just have to get back here as well. We can't afford for the vultures to get to us just because we're standing outside. If this thing can reload like twice the speed, it might actually be a worthy weapon. Oh, you need to move. Please move, move, move. You want to destroy our base from there. Okay, nice. It seems we are getting some XP, but very, very slowly. We need better guns as soon as possible. As long as I can kill these zombies in no problem at all. Oh, almost killed them, nice. Okay, see, there is still Molotov, uh, Molotov or two left, but I think I'm gonna save them for the- Oh, crap. Oh, no. Now they're gonna come for my pillar and they're gonna cave this in. Okay, so this defense failed. As long as I can just last until day... 8 morning, that'll be okay. Unfortunately, I can't throw... Um, yeah, unfortunately I can't build another walkway over here now because they destroyed too much. I can't believe they did that much damage though. How? Where? When? Oh, you almost died. Mr. Psycho over there was stuck. I wonder if I shouldn't try and build a walkway for them. But then they're going to be able to get in anyway, so I don't know if I should. Oh wow, they're jumping on each other's heads, that's clever. Come on, yes, by the feet, no! That rolled out of the way just in time to miss them. Okay, so this defense can fail, it's fine. I already wanted to make a new wood base for day 14, but the fact that it failed now is actually really bad. If a vulture decides to come right now, we are, we have a little bit of a problem. I can't tell where most of them are. If I can just throw or hit most of them with these. But every time I throw it, it hits their bodies and rolls to the back. 
Okay, I'm going to have to have this reloaded, this reloaded. All my guns have to be re reloaded for the morning time. Because I'm going to have to run away from here now. I'm going to have to make sure that I can actually kill any zombie that comes to me. Okay, do that. We have some skill points. Let's go for... That meal. I'm going to be able to move. Yeah, now we have uh, enough room to move with. Look, at the moment, they're actually helping me. If I uh, decide to tweak this... They now laid the foundations for that. I wonder if I shouldn't try and jump up there. I need to hit as many zombies as possible with this Molotov right now. Okay, I hit most of them. Oh crap, he's still fast for some reason. Oh yeah, we do have a knife on us. Oh crap. He's gonna infect me again, I already, already have the bird infection. What the hell? They're all so fast. Okay, so they destroyed the middle. They destroyed all four there. They destroyed this. Oh, the psycho is strong. Psycho is way too strong. Guys, the psycho can hit you and kill you so fast if you're not careful. They won't be able to come up there, I think. Clever, clever, clever. Why am I not paying attention to you? Oh, we do have the slugs. I don't know why I'm not using them. Okay, slug time, slug time, slug time. The only way to kill this dude is with a slug because he's tough. Oh, wow, look at that. That just bounced him back. I wonder how that happened. Come on, jump up, jump up, jump up. Behind each other. Boom. They're behind each other, you can shoot through the one and hit both. Nice. Okay, so this was. Hmm. I want to say it. If, I want to say it failed because the horde base failed, but we survived. So can we say it failed? I mean, it definitely. Who am I kidding? It definitely failed. <laughs> I need to do, do something about this. If this town is exactly like the town we got during the stream, I think this is the town we got during the stream. Um, there might be a PRI in there that has a ton of resources. So we are looking for over here, no, over here somewhere. I think there, one of those buildings, there's a guppy and a ton of resources. So if I want enough resources to build over here, I'm gonna have to make sure that we go up there. Um, I think before we leave, let's just quickly do this. I have no idea how long that bug's gonna stay, so I'll rather heal myself now. Okay, so if we use this, yeah, let's just use this place again. But then again, I want to make walls. So I wonder if I shouldn't just let it cave in. If I build a whole base from scratch over here, but make it solid walls instead of poles, the zombies are more likely to use the stairs. Hmm. I'm actually disappointed in the fact that they're going for the poles instead of the staircase. Is the staircase not wide enough? Not big enough? What's happening over here? Because if I can use this as a, as a base, guys, we already have all the resources invested over here. So we can make our base on top of this horde base. Instead of starting from scratch, we just keep on going. I think, let's just try, well, we'll see if we can't put some plates around this or something like that just to make up for it. But we need something drastically that's going to help us over here because at the moment this is not going to work. Boom, and last one. I want to make sure that this doesn't cave in. There's this pole. Uh, we're going to have to go for simple. Oh, I, j I just noticed that one place way, way, way too skew. Okay, so this one's fine. This one was very close to going. That's because of that um, general that was standing over here. Those things pack a punch. Okay, now I'll be safe enough to leave... Or it will be safe enough to leave some resources and stuff over here. I want to bring all my stuff over from the other place. So we need a place to put all that stuff. Um, I think for now we're just going to use a wooden ladder. That way we don't have to worry about resources and stuff being wasted. But guys, basically if you wanted to cheese it, since it closes at 12, zombies can't, except titans, they might be able to jump over, and zombies might be able to jump on each other's heads. But they can't break these, these are claimed. So up until 12, you can be inside the trader safe, and then only after 12 do you quickly go to your horde base. That's a nice way to cheese it a bit. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to make a few chests. Um, let's make five. I don't think I have that much loot. I think. We'll put this one down. Normally I couldn't see the chests for some reason. 
B4, 5. And I should probably start uh, placing the right stuff in there from the start, right? Okay, the food and water is getting a little bit low, so we'll just drink that. I need to bring all that stuff over now. That's going to be a problem. We do have one steroid left, so that's going to help us, but only with the one trip. The trips after that, we're going to have a problem. Okay, so we have the shotgun. We have the club and the knife. We have these as well. Okay, and then we don't have any Molotovs there, so we can actually do this. Let's move it over a little bit. And then what goes over here. Okay, so that axe is a repair tool. We don't need that. We only need our shovel. Then this one, this one, this one. We can have it this way around. And then I need to do this so we can actually stack up and away from zombies. Okay, so all our stuff is ready. Now, okay, so this is food. Let's put all the food and water and medical in here. Like with our base. That we need to take with us because we need to be able to carry all that weight. We need to fill these jars up as soon as possible as well. We need that stuff. Okay, all the guns, ammo, and tools can go away in this one. That's ours. Technically, I need to drop these here now because the more space we have on us, the better. We can put clothing over here. Got two hazmat jackets. That sucks. I mean, it's awesome, but at the same time, it's two of the same thing. We don't need two of the same. Okay, yeah, resources we can put over here. And then any miscellaneous and stuff we can put over here. So the shotgun repair kits, I think let's drop all of this stuff for now. We'll take the one shotgun thing with us. Um, yeah, we want to bring everything over so we can't have too much junk on us. So we might need the shotgun. We might need the melee. We're not going to need these. So for now, we're just going to be able to uh, carry as much as possible from that base uh, to here. But I want to make sure at least we have just one or two things that's going to help us. Now, the challenging part, moving all that stuff to here. But guys, the amount of damage this place suffered, I'm actually surprised. Okay, so we need to aim. I want to go for that treasure map as well. Treasure map. I wonder, can we use uh, time charges not? I can't remember. I think you have to open up the box enough so the time charges work. So we need this, and we need a shovel to dig with. We're also going to need one repair kit, but we can make that at the base. We might, we might be able to use the breaching uh, slugs instead of the time chargers. We'll do this. Okay, and then we just lock two slots. Let's go. We do have food and stuff at the base, but I wonder if I shouldn't just try and fill up over here. It's going to give me a health and stuff as well anyways. And then I have to aim for... Let's go for the treasure first. And then we fetch all our stuff and go from there. Guys, overall, I feel like we did really well. The fact that we survived the Horde Knights is one big thing. Uh, we just need to now focus on getting all of these class quests done. Because as you guys are aware, we need bird uh, flu kits and all that stuff as well. We got lucky with that loot drop. Just when I needed a bird uh, bird flu kit, we got the first aid kit. So that was super, super lucky. We're not always going to be that lucky. The sooner we can actually go into at least the medical class, the better. Because then we'll be able to heal ourselves should we get infected by like the hooker or the uh, birds, the vultures. Oh wow, guys, we need to be careful. Look at that. There's the Undertaker just walking, just chilling over there by that tree. I already just passed a radiated lady that tried... Well, she hit me, but it didn't infect me at least. Crap, crap, crap. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. I don't mind killing some of these small fries, but uh, that one, for example, that uh, Demolisher, if he explodes, we have some major, major problems. The fact that we're already getting... Oh yeah, I wanted to first... This might be dumb. Uh, my shovel's about to break. I should have probably first gone to the base because the shovel is going to break soon. And then I'm going to need something else to heal myself with. Okay, but now that's going to be a problem. Um, please don't get close. Please don't get close. Stay there. If he explodes, if he, I can't remember which one does damage to the player more and which does player have a block damage. Take, if that's a block... Hello? Hola. If that's a block damage demolisher, we might actually want him to explode over here. Because then he's going to dig up this whole area for us. We don't have to dig any. Let me just quickly do this. Remember guys, for crawlers, crouch down. I've seen a lot of people try and uh, hit a crawler, but then they hit their legs. The crawler hits their legs because the uh, dudes are way too far up. You have to be on the same level as the... What if I shouldn't try and kill that demolisher? I just have this feeling it's going to kill me. If I can get him to explode this area for us, we'd be safe. I'm just going to hide in the hole of here and hope for the best. 
If he explodes, we die. We die. So we need him to stay far, far away from us right now. And also, I'm hoping I actually find this treasure fast because this shovel's about to break. Okay, so I finally found it after digging a lot. And we also had like a few surgeons and stuff fall in here, so I had to kill them with my melee. Now the question remains, also I had to make myself a stone shovel and just repair it. And the way we repair it is by just getting some stone like this. <laughs> I even had to get stone down here in the hole because I didn't want to pop my head out. I just hope this doesn't call that demolisher in the area to us and then I can actually open this up. If it doesn't open up guys, we're gonna have to go all the way back to our base just to get the um, repair kits and stuff. Not repair kits, the uh, lock picks. Okay, let's see. Am I using the right shotgun rounds? No, I'm not. Ah, that was a waste. Oh, that was eight shots just now. How much is that? It's barely taking damage. See, it's because it's in the hole. If the surface around it was a little bit more open, uh, there'd be more damage to this thing. Crap, I'm wasting my st shots right now. How much is that? Um, I wonder if I shouldn't just try and make a stone axe and then just dig around this first. Because the reason we're not doing all that damage is because we're shooting the top, not the front of it. Um, so yeah, I'm just really going to see if I can get myself a stone axe. Okay, so I had to waste like 40 sh shotgun sh uh, slugs. Even though I have everything under, uh, around this um, removed. So from now on, I need to make sure that we at least have some knockbacks or some breaching rounds on it. I think the breaching rounds might have actually opened this up better. But yeah, that was a massive waste of shotgun slugs, and my gun's durability is now half. So hopefully... It's okay, it's not great. Got some shotgun slugs, or uh, shells I mean. Some gunpowder, some cash, the 3000 something coins is nice. But overall, I feel that was a massive waste. Anyway, uh, anyways, if you guys liked the episode, please like and share with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback, even down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Ways UK fun. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or the Patreon link in the description down below.